Hello everyone, so today I want to show you what I have been up to lately so what I have been doing is playing with OpenGL quite a bit because I wanted to do that in a long time never had the chance but now since I decided to start moving seriously toward R&D department rather than rigging department I wanted to get more comfortable with C++, with standalone application, because so far I was working in Maya. So it's kind of like a safe environment even for C++, so I decided to go standalone. And so let's see actually what I did. So let's run it. Awesome splash screen. And here we go, that's it. So I actually made a 3D viewport and I'm actually able to load OBJ model into it I, you can see guys I'm doing like some basic lighting in this case it's just a simple diffuse and 3D viewport like 3D camera and everything so it was like quite a challenge so much to learn also the beginning just to draw a freaking triangle you have to learn so much stuff then Drawing a dragon is not that much of a problem. I also wrote myself a basic OBJ loader, then I went for a more solid library I found online, but it was all a good learning. So, for example, I can disable the diffuse computation. We can see that, guys. So, if we run that again, there we go. So, we don't have any computing anymore of the of the light and it's completely flat okay so we can run it back in and now let's actually render another model so this one actually got texture so in order to use the texture i need to use another material i'm going to explain that in a little so i didn't build yet a nice quick switch to do that so I'm doing manually for now so here we go so here we go so we have another model here and we see it's also had diffuse you can see some dark here dark here and this one is really low poly you can actually see the artifacts on here in the triangle when it's when it goes from one triangle to the other it's really really low poly and but it's also has texture you can see that it loads texture nicely and I can kill the texture if I just for example I go back to the default material and here we go so you see now it's without texture so I have quite a bit of control over that but so now OpenGL wise I don't think I'm going to push much further because I have some some plans so this is just a small piece of a bigger plan and I don't want to to waste, to waste too much time playing with OpenGL doing like crazy rendering and stuff because I'm not gonna need it basically I need uh, a 3D viewport to to be able to to play and do my stuff okay so that's it uh, as I was saying before, I actually have quite a bit of shaders, so one shader is just basically the camera deformation, so I'm computing all the camera moving and everything, so this is just applied to the to the grid, because the grid doesn't need to have any vertex, sorry, any color or texture sampling or anything. Then I have a default material, which is the simplest one you saw in the diagonal without the texture, and then there is another material which is also able to compute texture sampling, of course, if it is provided. Okay, so that's it, guys.